Good morning, Gulf Coast. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carruthers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team. Here with your Thursday morning, September 21st tropical update. We do have an update for you from the National Hurricane Center here. We now have potential tropical cyclone 16 off of the East Coast. Now this it technically has not developed into anything tropical. It's just an area of clouds and low pressure, but the National Hurricane Center does believe that it could develop some subtropical or tropical characteristics moving into the next couple of days and then it's forecast to move into the Carolinas in the next couple of days. So they wanted to go ahead and issue a track and be able to issue alerts if needed. So that's where you get potential tropical cyclone 16. We also have Hurricane Nigel we'll talk about and another tropical wave off the coast of Africa. So here is the latest with potential tropical cyclone 16. It's got max winds at 35 miles per hour. And again, right now, it's just clouds and low pressure. But the National Hurricane Center does believe that it will likely develop into something tropical or subtropical. Uh, so they just wanted to go ahead and be able to issue alerts and attracts just so people in these areas can prepare. Now, the good news is this is not a threat for our stretch of the Gulf Coast or the Gulf of Mexico. You can see the track. It moves northward into the Carolinas in Virginia by the time we get to this weekend and into next week the only impacts that we'll see from the system is indirect and it is actually drier air being funneled in to our area this weekend on the back side of the system so it's far enough away we're not going to see any direct impacts obviously it's not in our area but the overall circulation the big large-scale circulation is going to bring drier air into our area moving into the weekend we also have hurricane nigel in the northern atlantic this will continue to race away into the northern atlantic and eventually lose its tropical care characteristics as well. This is not a threat to land. We're also tracking a tropical wave off the coast of Africa. This will likely become a tropical depression or storm in the next couple of days. So we're going to have to watch this one. Of course, models are all over the place because it hasn't formed yet. So we'll keep an eye on it. But there are no current threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Now there is the latest, but if you need more information or want information between updates, you can always head to WKRG.com, our hurricane map room. You can see all the latest graphics, the latest videos, everything you need to know.